every year when you go back to school, do you find yourself feeling like this is the year that I am going to trust like my fall Pinterest board, but then it doesn't happen. And then like second week of school, you're like wearing your sweatpants every day and you feel like you have nothing to wear even though your closet is full of clothes. Because same, but in today's video, we're gonna be changing that. This video is your ultimate guide for how to actually build your dream fall wardrobe. We are gonna be talking everything from how to find your style. I'm gonna actually give you some outfit inspo and outfit ideas. And we're just gonna be talking confidence in general, that you actually have the confidence to wear the things that you wanna wear out of the house. This video is sponsored by the amazing Pascal, so thank you so much. Without further ado, let's jump into our own closets. Go through your closet and look at what you actually find yourself reaching for most. With the pieces you figure out that you reach for a lot, then go through and very methodically figure out what is it about those pieces that you like. Maybe it's comfort, maybe you only like wearing certain fabrics, and there's other fabrics in your closet you will never reach for. Maybe it's silhouettes, things that you feel really confident in. So go through your closet and literally write it down, take some notes. So to get into the fall spirit and really curate our dream fall wardrobe, it's time to get on Pinterest. As you can see, I just have a lot of things that are just really inspiring to me this fall that make me just so excited for fall in general. Some like fashion stuff I'm super into. This picture of these tights and these heels. Oh my gosh, I want to get like some fun patterned tights for fall. I'm really loving obviously like these big chunky sweaters. I'm loving things like gingham and small plaid, especially when they're brown toned or like dark green. Oh my gosh, some dark green plaid. Mwah. Here's another one of those. Like I'm writing that on my little fashion wish list so that when I actually do go shopping, I'm not going overboard and buying a ton of things that aren't even on my little wish list. And I'm staying true to the things that like are inspiring me. Brown ribbons around my neck were something I did so much last year. This outfit is literally so cool. This girl is wearing, it's one of my favorites on my Pinterest board. I love this like vintage coat she's wearing and the brown ribbon. Found this like new obsession with vintage Ralph Lauren. I am literally scouring vintage Ralph Lauren on eBay every day. Teddy sweaters, the vintage ones are like $300, but someday. But I'm manifesting I find one for cheap at a thrift store sometime. Red is like such a color I feel like right now. Everyone is super gravitating towards. I feel And I feel like finding small ways to add some pops of red into your outfits would be super cool, like these red Mary Janes. This is literally making me so excited. Look at these red boots. Oh my gosh, this outfit's so good. This outfit is like how I want to dress this fall, like kind of just super mature, very like Parisian chic. All right, that was fun, but I think it's time to move on to the next phase of this video. And for me to show you my fall outfit essential and give you some ideas of how to style them or the pieces that you already have in your closet. Today's video is sponsored by the amazing Pascal's. Thank you so much, Pascal, for sponsoring this video. I feel like one of the best and easiest ways to elevate an outfit in the fall is to add jewelry. Pascal crafts jewelry with ethically made and graded lab-grown diamonds, which is super important to me. My birthday a couple days ago, and I've been wearing jewelry from their Zodiac collection. I'm a Virgo and I love to make sure nobody ever forgets it. This necklace with the little Virgo pendant is literally so pretty and I've been wearing it so often. They also sent me this gorgeous ring that has literally just become a, such a staple in my fall pieces. This bracelet is literally everything I could ask for of a bracelet. It's I don't wear bracelets very often, but this bracelet, I've literally not been able to take off. I feel like it's so pretty. This other necklace is so cool and chunky, and I feel like really nice for just making an outfit a little bit more edgy. And these earrings are literally the perfect fall earring. I feel like they're just so pretty. All of their pieces are so high quality and so detailed. I feel like they all add so much to an outfit, and you'll definitely see them throughout the rest of this video. Make sure you check out Pascal in the description below and use my code GG20 for 20% off. Welcome to the outfit segment of this video. I'm gonna be telling you your fall outfit essentials and basically I'm gonna be giving you formulas for how to style different pieces. So you can just take a formula and make a super cute outfit in your own style using it. We're gonna start off with just a casual pair of kind of baggier, very comfy jeans. My favorite formula for this is to wear a big, slouchy, comfy sweater over it. I'm wearing the Pascal bracelet ring 
and pull out the necklace. With a cozy outfit like this, I feel like it's calling for one of these types of shoes. I need to get a new pair of some used Uggs. I don't support Ugg directly, but I'll buy them used. Now I'm rocking with these, but just imagine that they're higher quality. Still gives the same vibe, I feel like. Going with this bag, this was actually mine when I was a kid and I just recently found it and I'm really excited about it. Now we have a flare pair of dark wash jeans on, which I feel like are such a good fall essential. I think these are like the epitome of Lorelai Gilmore fall. My favorite way to style them is with a pair of really cool vintage heeled boots. A slouchy kind of casual bag, but not a tote, something kind of in the middle, like this messenger bag. Flare jeans, plus a cozy turtleneck, plus some really cool heeled boots. This is just giving fall Lorelai Gilmore. When it gets a little bit colder out, the silhouette is so perfect with a little fun jacket on top. So my alcohol formula for these is a pair of flats or Mary Janes. Here are some that I think are really cute. I'm on the hunt for a red pair. Then just a cute little cardigan. Something on your head. Whatever that means for your style. Whether it be a beret, a little newspaper hat, a fuzzy hat, sunglasses, headbands. Just whatever like speaks to you. But I feel like something on your head is really cute. Then I feel like have fun with a cute little bag. I feel like a little bag for this is perfect. A tote would also be really cute. I love how the Pascal jewelry looks with this. Our next category that we're going to talk about is skirts. I feel like skirts are literally just the most amazing fall essential. Let me show you some ways to wear them. This is our most casual of the skirts options. I think a pleated skirt is specifically super cute for fall. Then big chunky sweater on top. One that's so big and chunky you almost can't even see the skirt peeking through. A pair of knee-high boots are necessary but I feel like a specifically a more casual pair of knee highs like a riding boot or something just with less of an aggressive heel like a comfy tall boot perfection and like a casual tote bag this is my stars hollow tote bag i need to get a new one because i actually like stained it so don't look at that isn't that so cute this may be my favorite outfit i show today this is like my go-to fall outfit pleated skirt a heel chunky boot, a turtleneck or a turtleneck sweater, something on your head, whether that's a hat, a headband, some sunglasses, and a bag that matches your shoes. When in doubt, match your bag to your shoe. I'm also like literally just obsessed with anything vintage Ralph Lauren, and this sweater is like my pride and joy eBay find. I do use this bag to go to school with, so I feel like this outfit is perfect for school. You guys can see why I really like skirts, right? This is so cute. This one's really similar to the last one. Some color coordination going on with the red, the red, the red. This one, instead of tall boots, I did Little Mary Janes, which I feel like these are so popular right now and for very good reason. They're really popular right now, but I don't think they'll ever actually go out of style. So you guys can tell I have a thing with bows <laughs> and I like incorporating them into my outfit in any way I can. I'm obsessed with this vintage bow sweater. For something on my head this time, I added these little bow clips. I'm loving how this Pascal jewelry is looking with everything. It just is so like classic looking with everything. One thing I love about fall is that it's a little bit colder. You can wear fun jackets. And I love the silhouette of a big jacket that's like the length of your skirt, not longer because unless you have leggings or tights on, I think it looks kind of funny. But the magic of fall is that I can wear this outfit out and I won't be uncomfortable. I'm gonna make as much use of it as I can before it's too cold to wear outfits like this anymore. The next fall outfit essential is pleated pants or trousers. These pants are some of the most comfortable fall pants and they just scream like when Harry met Sally fall. Literally, you put them on, you feel like you're wearing sweatpants or pajamas, but they're so cool. You look so put together. The tighter top up top. I'm wearing this vintage bodysuit that I literally love with these pants. Like a sleek turtleneck or, or just a long sleeve top. 
honestly any kind of like tighter top i feel like up top would look so cute you could definitely do like a baggier like sweater up top as well honestly i love wearing these little booties with it that have like a nice little chunky heel if you want a little bit more of like a down to earth look i feel like loafers would be super cute with these very lorelei gilmore autumn in new york vibes and it doesn't need to be like one of these short little heel boots i just think they're more comfortable if you have like a tall boot you could stick that under here and totally get away with it. And a cute bag that again matches your shoes your jewelry and something up top again whether that's a hat some sunglasses bow in your hair i don't care what it is but something that feels like your style that you can put up top oh my god Speaking of personal touches that make your fall outfit more you, I'm bringing back the necktie for this outfit. I think that's adorable. I feel like finding your own style is so much about not trying to be like an aesthetic instead of like boxing yourself into, well, I'm this aesthetic so I can't wear things from that and that. It's about picking and choosing little things from lots of different aesthetics or styles to build your own style. Actually make your style instead of just a carving poppy of everyone else's style it's sometimes mixing and matching things from lots of different styles and just finding little details that feel like you that you can add super easily to an outfit like a satin little scarf or ribbon hats that you thrift stuff that's not super expensive or some jewelry that maybe has sentimental value to you or is just super special to you i feel like it doesn't have to be things that break the bank or are super crazy and out there or even like a big piece of your outfit it's just these like little detail next section is one of my personal favorites the dress section we're gonna start off with just a little black dress i feel like these can be styled so many ways for fall and they pair so nicely with polka dot mesh tights. That's my favorite thing to wear with black dresses. But tights with dresses is a really fun way to add your own personal touch to an outfit. So I feel like with these outfit formulas, that's a really good example of how you can take the tight but change it to something that's really fun for you. The first way, of course, is just covering up the dress. <laughs> I feel like that's so cute. Bring some color coordination in since I'm wearing brown boots. I'm gonna put on this brown headband again. And this is so cute. The dress just makes that super simple. Like all we did was throw on a couple accessories and a jacket and called it a day. Little dresses can still be fall coated, especially if they're like a fall color, like this brown gingham one. Just because it's fall does not mean you need to give up little cute dresses. This totally could be a tall boot too, but I wanna show you it with Mary Jane's because I feel like Mary Jane's are so cute with dresses. I'm not afraid of some pattern mixing. I'm gonna do my brown headband up top. I don't know, something about a headband and Mary Jane's is just... Then we'll add my brown bag again. I actually wore this to school one of my first days back. You guys know I love pink and you can tell that my fall wardrobe is a lot less pink than usual. Just because it's a new season doesn't mean you have to stop wearing the colors that you usually wear. Honestly, pink and brown are my two favorite colors, so I really make use of brown in the fall just because I personally feel so inspired by the seasons. It's not like I just want to wear pink forever or green forever or brown forever. I really like switching it up depending on the season. That being said, I still like to incorporate some pink here or there into fall. I feel like as long as I incorporate some brown too, it's still really cute. So. I have this really cute vintage dress that I feel like is very fall coated with my knee high boots and my brown bag that matches the boots. Need something on our head. I think that's cute. I'm really into headbands recently. They have been so fun for me to play around with. Okay, the sun is starting to go down, so I think that's our last outfit, but I hope that gave you just a ton of outfit inspiration, and I hope it got your brain thinking about the ways that you can use these formulas for your own style and your own closet, or like you need to resort to just wearing sweatpants every day, because I promise you, if you have some fun with your outfits, I feel like going back to school and fall will just be like 10 times more fun. 
And a lot of these pieces are thrifted or are reworked in even some like non so ways that I feel like you can definitely also do this on a budget. And a lot of these pieces you'll notice probably were also repeats of each other. And you don't need every single essential I set. You pick and choose a couple that feel really exciting for you. Then you can really mix and match and rewear pieces in a ton of different outfits. If you've made it this far in the video, comment down below this emoji. Okay, so I just got to the thrift store because of course, now that we kind of have an idea of what we want our dream fall wardrobe to be, we can go thrifting for it. I'm at my favorite thrift store and I think they just put out their fall stuff like yesterday. So we're like fresh to it. The fall thrifting where I live in New England is literally so good. I wrote out a list of what I would really like to find in there. I feel like it's good to be really specific when thrifting. By the way, look how pretty my ring is looking and my necklace from Pascal. I said I would love to find some brown kitten heels, a chunky Roy Gilmore sweater. I know I'm wearing one right now, but like you can never have too many. Or just like some grandpa sweaters in general. Something tartan would be really cool, or like plaid. Turtlenecks, a trench coat in my size because I'm 4'11 and I can never find one that like fits me. Brown gingham or tweed in general. Let's go thrifting, I'm so excited. So if I had filmed the earlier section where I showed you the outfit, after this, I would have included a lot of these pieces because we found a lot of good stuff at the thrift store and I also just recently did a little clothing swap with my friends, which I feel like is such an underestimated thing to do. It's like going thrifting at your friend's house and you can like make it a whole event. So let me show you some of the stuff we picked up. It's my second Rory Gilmore sweater because I literally wear my other one so often. I was like, I need another one because I cannot wear this like four times a week. I got this at the thrift store for like five dollars which is just incredible thrifting is just the best next thing i picked up at the thrift store oh my god are we seeing this this is a vintage like blazer coat situation look at this print i love plaids for the fall i feel like it's just such a good fall pattern um i'm really excited to wear this with like a skirt and some tall boots and and maybe some little like black tights or something. I feel like this is literally gonna be so cute. Okay, this is really funny. I actually gave this to my friend last year in a clothing swap and then this year I took it back, which I think is just so funny. It's this really fun little vest. It's just such good fall colors and I honestly just kept thinking about it. So I was like, I feel like I need that back. And she happened to include it in our clothing swap. I might even like do something with this fabric for a sewing thing, a button down cardigan, except it's short sleeve, which I feel like is really cute. I wanna wear this with like a little headband, a little skirt, some tall boots, and have it be like a very Blair Waldorf little moment. I feel like that'll be so cute. Um, I could not believe that my friend was giving these away, but look how cool these are. are is this not like fall in a shoe? I love the orange detailing. I don't know. There's something just magic about finding stuff like this. Before we finish out this video, I wanted to give you like a little confidence fashion pep talk. I know that feeling when you have something that you really love to wear and you're super excited to wear it out, but then you get to school or you get to wherever you are and suddenly you feel like so embarrassed and you may literally like run to the bathroom and put something on top of it or change completely. And I don't want that for any of us this year, okay? This is the year we're not allowed to be running to the bathroom, putting sweatshirts over our cute outfits, okay? First of all, there's literally nothing wrong with putting on an outfit that makes you happy to go do something, like putting effort into your outfit. In fact, honestly, I feel like it's like a gift to yourself. It's a way to show that you value yourself. You, you know, you're proud of yourself for going and doing whatever that thing is that you're doing that day. So if you have a cute outfit that makes you excited to wear, wear it to the place. Like, don't think about what other people are gonna think because at the end of the day, literally, who cares? Who cares? Who are you trying to impress? The girl who talks about you behind your back? that guy in your math class who's super rude to you and doesn't even actually respect you. Like literally like, why 
are we dressing for them? This year, I challenge you to just play the role of someone who would romanticize their outfits. Like if you yourself have a hard time being confident in your outfits or confident enough to wear the outfits out of the house, just fake it. Literally just step into the role as if you're acting as a person who wouldn't have trouble with that. And the more that you do it over and over again, the easier it will become until suddenly you're not even pretending anymore. This is your life. So why are you dressing for somebody else? Whether it's for their validation, for their opinion, whatever it is, you're wasting your time. Would you rather spend the next four years of your life dressing for other people that you'll probably never even see again because honestly, anybody that's judging you for your outfits, they're probably not gonna be close friends or people in your life anyway. The people that won't be judging you and will be like, oh my gosh, like cute outfit and hyping you up are the people who are actually gonna be in your life. So a little reality check also is that honestly, most people are not as judgmental as we think they are. I've told this story on my YouTube before, but all through high school, I was like super nervous to wear anything out of the box. I literally just dressed like everyone else until my senior year when I finally was like, you know what, I want to dress like me. I don't want to be, you know, just dressing like every other person in here because I feel like I'm missing out on cute outfits that I wish I could be wearing. It would make going to school like way more fun for me. When I started wearing those outfits, I felt like all the time people would be staring at me and I felt like people were judging me and sometimes people would say stuff like, what are you so dressed up for today? Then at the end of the year, I literally was voted best dressed, which I thought literally everyone was judging me. But maybe not all the people staring were judging. I think there's three scenarios that could be going on there. A, they are looking at you and they are judging. And if that's the case, literally, who cares? Like, you don't need them in your life anyway. They're looking because they think your outfit's cool. They think you're cool. They like the outfit that you're wearing. And the third option is they're literally not staring at all and you're imagining it because we literally are all our own worst critic. And I think so often we overthink these situations and we all are like critiquing ourselves so much that we think everyone else is critiquing us too. But in reality, we're all just critiquing ourselves so much that we don't even have time to be critiquing other people. So I hope that gives you a little bit of a reality check and a reason to just go for it this year. And if you're still scared, do it scared. Just do it scared this year, this week. Start one day at a time, even just one day a week. Wear something that's a little bit more out of your comfort zone. I hope that there was at least one bit of this video that was helpful for you and that you feel ready to take on the fall season and to feel all the fall vibes with your outfits and everything. So thank you Pascal again for sponsoring this video. Remember, they are linked down below. Remember to go check them out in the description below. Their jewelry is literally so beautiful and I was so happy to wear it all of Virgo season. I love you all so, so, so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.